Today we're going to demonstrate the power of RSSify Me, the most powerful feed mashup tool ever created. And today to demo that, we're going to make a feed uh, that we're going to be using on a web page about the Dallas Cowboys, America's football team. And uh, so we're going to start out by naming our feed Dallas Cowboys, and we're going to give it some tags. Let's do uh, NFL, football, uh, Dallas, and Cowboys. And you can have up to six tags, and these are just so you can find your feeds easily later. And to speed up the demo, what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've already set up or, or found three feeds that we're going to use to populate this piece of content. Um, if we come over here, what I've done is I've run a in-title uh, search for Dallas Cowboys on Google's blog search engine, and I've sorted by date. And if you need help doing that, you can just use the advanced blog search tool. You can set up any type of unique search you want. So these are all blog posts that have been made very recently. You can see this one's 18 hours old. This one's 19 hours old. This is 21 hours old. And by making sure that Dallas Cowboys is in the, the headline, I know that I've got relevant content about America's football team. So what I'll do then is click on RSS. And you can see that that search actually has its own feed. And we'll just go ahead and we'll grab that feed. We'll come over here to the feed generation tool. We'll drop that in. And I also ran a search for Dallas Cowboys on Topics, which is a new search aggregator. And I ran an exact match search. So only articles that actually have Dallas and Cowboys in that order were going to show up. I'll grab that feed. Get back over to RSSify me. Pop it in. And then I'll come over to the Dallas Cowboys official website. We'll pull up their feed for their news. And this is straight from the source. We'll go ahead and copy that. Now, as I'm putting these together, what you need to understand is why we've created it this way, so that we combine these feeds from three different sources. There's plenty of people out there republishing content. The problem is that they're just grabbing and scraping the content and publishing it and, and just leaving it that way. And hundreds and hundreds of people are taking popular topics and doing the same thing. So the search engine see that content is duplicate. What we're doing here is we're mashing together content from multiple sources to create what looks like and actually is new and original content. So what we're going to do is we're going to control that by how many items we show from each one. Now the blog search, I'm going to go ahead and set that at four pieces of content. You'll see what that means in just a second. And on the topics news search, I'm going to set that to two. And then this one is always going to be a link to the Dallas Cowboys website. So I want to minimize how much we pull out of there. I'm only going to set that to one. And you can set these numbers to any number you want. Down here, we're going to take a little bit of control over the way the content is displayed. There's an example feed right here. You can see this is kind of narrow and it's in relatively small text. Maybe this doesn't really fit the website that I've built. So maybe I have a main body that is, let's say, 500 pixels wide where I need to put this content. And I want my cell, and I want everything to be just a plain white background. At the borders, I don't want any borders. I just want this to be plain white. I want it to blend in with the site seamlessly. Link color. We're going to go with kind of a dark blue. Most people recognize that as a good color for links. Link hover color, we'll just do like a little bit lighter of a shade of blue. Font color, we'll go ahead and leave that black. That's a good color for font. And I'm going to go ahead and bump up the size of my font. And I'm not a real big fan of Times New Roman font, so I'm going to change to Arial. I'm also going to select these features here that are available to our, our premium subscription members only, which is opening links in a new window. So that if somebody clicks one of the links on my site, they'll get to read that content, but they don't actually leave my site, and hide the RSS title so that the, the content will look just like this, seamlessly integrated, instead of having like right here where you see this CSS Beauty news feed. That's what our free members get. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll hit Preview RSS. And you can see that down here is a preview of the content. And if I like that content, and I do, I'll just hit RSSify. This little PHP include file. Now all I've got to do is copy this file, and I can go paste it on any web page that's, that's made in uh, PHP, and it'll display exactly the way that I see it here. That's the basic usage of RSSify me. And I want you to think about the things that you can do with this type of repurposing of other people's content. So exactly what is it that makes RSSify me so powerful? What can you do with this tool? Well, as you've just seen, you can create content in seconds for any niche imaginable. I know we made a site on the Dallas Cowboys, but let's say you're a Steelers fan. You could make a site on the Pittsburgh Steelers. You could make a site that follows the entire NFL and make a page for every team in the NFL. You could do this for soccer, and of course it's not limited to sports. Uh, you could do this, let's say, you could build a site with 
20 large companies that investors would want to track and RSS in their financial information. You could build a site on celebrities. You could build a site on anything that people are discussing and making content for anywhere on the web today. Because somewhere out there, there's RSS or XML feeds with that content. And with this tool, you can integrate feeds from any source that publishes in either of those formats. With this tool, you could actually build a new niche site every week. Or if you're building smaller sites or you're dedicated and all you do is internet marketing, you could build a niche site a day. And in no time at all, you can own your own site network based around any theme or concept that you want or desire. And because this content is registered as HTML, the sites that you build will be search engine friendly and able to attract visitors for you for, you, for any topic that you can come up with. And what's really unique is you're able to use content developed by others, yet you still build useful and relevant sites that users will love. Think about the Dallas Cowboys site that we were just beginning to put together there. If I built that site out, had general news about the Cowboys on the front, went in, created a page for every player on the team, brought in their content from all over the internet, from all these unique sources, had a page for Tony Romo, for Terrell Owens, for all the players on that team, and you were a Cowboys fan and you landed on that page, it would be a perfect site for you to stay in touch with your team. It's actually useful. It's actually relevant. The beauty is, though, that you're not having to write any of the content yourself and you don't have to keep it updated. So, if you're a new marketer, you might be wondering, well, exactly how does this make me money? How, how do I monetize uh, sites like this? Well, there's a lot of different ways you can do that. One is through contextual advertising, such as AdSense or uh, Yahoo Publisher or Contera or any of these other sources. Chitika is another one. And those are pretty much turnkey. As long as you have traffic to your site and you do good placement of your ads, you'll be able to earn some revenue with those. And we'll even give you a little bit of training in the back office about how to integrate that. You can use it for building links for SEO to other sites that you own or manage. Let's say that you're into real estate and you have a bunch of sites that you actually do manually update all the time and they're your main sales sites. You could build an entire network of sites about real estate, do a little bit of link building to them, and then use those to push link value to your own sites. You can use these sites to build mailing lists by offering user updates. And here's the beauty. Let's say that you say you'll send users weekly notifications of updates to your site. Anytime you send them an email that links them back to your site, they're actually going to see updates because your site's updated every time the feed is updated. So it's a great way to build mailing lists. You can build mailing lists around any niche that you can create a site for. You can use them, of course, for direct sale of your own products. If you have a product that fits a niche, build sites around it, do your own advertising. You can use it, this is the most passive way I know to make money with a site, to sell links on your sites via networks like TextLink Ads, LinkWorth, and there's a whole bunch of other ones. All you really need to do this is build some good quality sites, go out, do some link building from some other sites back, build up some page rank on your sites, get some traffic to your sites, and these networks will pay you just to publish other people's links. Some of these sites can make you a couple hundred dollars a month just by publishing a few links on them if you build that PR. So we have a one-time license fee of only $19.95 for access to the software. And after that, we have a monthly recurrent charge of only $4 a month. And that's roughly a dollar a week for access to one of the most powerful tools ever created. What that recurrent fee buys you is, number one, there'll be no advertising whatsoever in your feed. Right now, if you're using the free trial version of the tool, we inject links into your feed so that you're providing links back to us. If you want to do that, you're more than welcome to, but you'll be building our link network instead of your own. Uh, we also do reserve the right to publish future advertising for non-paying members. Uh, you'll also receive training by our team in video. This will include some basic SEO tactics. So if you're really not sure how to set up your website to make sure you get traffic to it, we'll help you out with that. We're going to give you access to a members-only forum with staff advice. Myself and my team members are on the forum daily, and we're going to give you advice if you have questions about how to use the tool. And we're also going to be looking for your feedback as to new uh, features that you'd like to see RSSFI me publish. Um, we're going to give you access to feed templates. Uh, collected by other members. And what I mean by that is you'll be able to see uh, the basic feed designs that other members have created for their own niches. You'll be able to customize them for use on your own site and make your own versions of them. So it'll speed up your production. We'll give you lists of unique feed sources. Yep, And we're going to be adding new features all the time. And the free version of the tool is what it's going to be forever. Any new features that we add to RSSify Me will only be available to our premium members. So what we're doing is we're making this tool very powerful, but we're also keeping it so that only premium members have access to the most advanced features. So get started today.
sign up as a licensed member of RSSify Me and start using the content of others to create your own internet empire.